Ken's up. Ken, wow. Uh, I haven't seen Ken in a while, and I think he mentions that. He says, I need to change. I need to change a client's GMB address. They are moving to a new location as of January 6th. I don't want to mess up their GMB listing. Is there anything I should do besides simply changing the address? I'm guessing it will trigger re-verification. Re um, okay, well, there's a couple things going on with that, Ken. Number one, if it's a service area business where the customers do not come to the business location, you can click to clear the address now from GMB. In fact, that's the recommended procedure from Google. In other words, if your if your business, and I don't know this, but if your business is a service area business where this the the, the business goes to the customer's location, so for example, contractors typically, um, and that's pr primarily what I work with is contractors. So most all the things that I work on are service area businesses. Well now, and this just changed within the last three weeks. Um, now, if you have a service area business, you go in and clear the address. Once the ver once you, if you have a verified profile, all you have to do is go into the info tab. You click on the address section, and then there's a literally a link in there that says clear address. You click that button, and it will wipe it clean, and then you click OK or apply or save or whatever it is, um, and it will literally remove the address from the listing entirely. And that's fine because you've already verified the profile, and then you set your service area by zip code or city name or county name or however you want to do it. You can set your service area, which is how you're supposed to do it. Now, if it's a point of sale business or a storefront business, which means customers come to the business's location, then absolutely you're going to want to display your address. But what I have found, um, I'm not going to tell you that it's not going to trigger a re-verification for sure because I don't know, but I can tell you that um, I have changed, uh, and I've got a client literally that on Monday, I just changed his physical address. He's a, um, a painting contractor and he moved locations. He moved from one side of the city to the other. So the zip code changed, the street address changed, phone number stayed the same. Web address stayed the same. Obviously, company name stayed the same, but the street address changed and the zip code. Uh, so I just changed it and didn't trigger a verification. Okay, because it's a verified address that, or a verified entity uh, business. Uh, Google My Business profile, and because of that, Google didn't. It, now, if it's a new if it's a new listing and you do it, it's more likely to trigger a verification. And I'm not saying that it's not going to re-trigger or trigger a re-verification, but I have changed the address for established listings on many different occasions. Not the same business changed it multiple times, but I've changed many different businesses one time because they were established businesses and they moved locations, and it didn't trigger re-verification. Does that make sense? And a lot of the times, if it's an established business and it does trigger re-verification, it's just a phone verification, and it's not a uh, it's not a, an actual like postcard thing. So, I would not worry about it, Ken. If it's a service area business, you can remove the address entirely. It's not going to hurt anything. You don't even need to put the new address in the in the uh, GMB dashboard. It's not even going to ask for it. But if it's a storefront, then yes, you're going to want the address, obviously. But I would just go in and change it. Period. Just go in and do it through your manager account. Um, I'm assuming you're you're connected through a manager account. Just do it through your manager account. And if it triggers re-verification, then do whatever it takes to re-verify it. It should it should come back immediately uh, once it's re-verified because it's an established business. Okay. Should I make the change before the six or wait to the move? I'd wait to the move. Don't do it until the day the day that they move. Change it. All right. Uh, by the way, Bradley, glad to be back. Been away for about a year and a half. I thought I hadn't seen you in a while, Ken. Um, wasn't sure if I would ever to be able to do this again. Well, I'm glad you're back, Ken. You've, you've always been here and asked lots of good questions, so we appreciate you coming back. 